Uh, last question comes from Lexi Howe, and they write, Hi, Collider Movie Crew. You spoke about the use of subtitles in one episode of Movie Talk, but the way you guys talked about it was the use of foreign films. I have two hearing disabilities and can only watch movies if they have subtitles. While some theaters, hint, hint, many AMC theaters, have accessibility devices, many do not. I was wondering if you thought it would be a good idea to do showings of movies with the subtitles on screen. I'm not talking about in every single theater, but maybe one or two per location. I know it would be a huge advantage for anyone else who has hearing problems, but to those who do not, it may seem like an inconvenience. What do you think? Thanks and keep up the great work. Uh, first of all, thanks so much for, for that for that message and for bringing up a, an issue. I don't think I'd really thought about it in those terms before, which is awesome. There's two trains of thought here that go through my head when I hear this. My one train of thought is the more negative one, which is, well, look, it all comes down to dollars and cents. If a movie theater chain can can you know come up with a way to do it, and I don't think that they can, to get enough people into the theater to justify taking up a screen and the staff and the manpower and whatever, instead of playing Jurassic World or another copy of Straight Outta Compton or Walk in the Woods or whatever, then that would hinder the chances for something like that happening. Do they think they can actually get people in? So that's the negative part. But the positive part goes back to what we were talking about. Look, the number one movie in the nation right now is War Room. And we talked a little bit about don't underestimate what can happen when you have a niche audience and you just target that niche audience and you go after them that you can have results. I think, actually, in a positive side, that if you're a movie theater in Los Angeles and you say, hey, everybody's been wanting to see you know, the new Mission Impossible film, well, guess what? Sundays, we have screenings, Sunday afternoons, for, our, for, for the big films that are going to be subtitled for our hearing impaired. Now, I know some theaters, like in AMC theaters, they have some specific theaters that have hearing aids to help with it and all that kind of stuff, which is great. We're seeing movie theaters more and more being concerned about the issue of accessibility for all their potential audience members. But I think what you bring up is a really cool idea. If a movie theater chain and a studio can partner with them to really get behind, market it, let the people know in that niche group, whether it's a hearing impaired niche group or whatever, to say, we have a screening here for you. It can be successful, and that would take care of my first negative thought. So I think it's a really neat idea, Mark. Yeah, for blockbusters and indie films alike, I mean, you want to be part of the conversation. When a big movie comes out, you want to be able to talk about it with your friends, regardless of whether you're hearing impaired or not. So it actually is a great point. And let's think about the worst case scenario. Let's say that Star Wars The Force Awakens comes out in a movie theater on eight screens. Okay, if one of those screens had subtitles on it, is it the worst thing in the world for me to not be able to get a ticket for any other seven movies to go see it in that theater? Like, like, if, as long as you still have the sound on, that, that'd be kind of cool. It actually might help for something like Star Wars when the, you have to learn how to spell all the names of the new characters anyway. So <laughs> it, actually, it, it actually might improve the experience in some movies. So I think it's a great call. I love it. I love the idea of subtitle Sunday. Like just do at seven o'clock across the board, every single film is subtitled. Nowadays, every single film is pretty much electronic. It's digital. Yes. It's, we're not projecting film anymore. It's a digital print. DCP is what it's called. And and I think it's really easy. Almost every film that you see has already got the closed captioning subtitles in English already done. So it's just like literally turning them on or off. Basically, it's a function. I think if theaters try it out and let people know who, ha who need to have subtitles, hey, on Sunday at 7 o'clock, every single one of these movies is subtitled. You could see a rise in, uh, in, uh, in movie going on Sunday, and it would also be really helpful.